And he's done it. He started off with the most beautiful delivery. Gary has absolutely no idea what has happened to it. He still doesn't know. He asked Kenny Palmer on the way out. Kenny Palmer just gave him a raised eyebrow and a little nod. And that's all it needed. Probably the best one I've ever bowled, so pretty good start. I think Hander's in now because they've got a theory that I don't bowl well to left hander. So they're sending Chan to Paul and they're chasing some runs and they're doing pretty well. It's on a turning track in Sydney. Uh, went around the wicket um, and I reckon it's probably the furthest I've ever turned a delivery. Got him! That's well bowled, Shane Warne. What a wicket that is. He's really teed him up and he has struck just before lunch. Well, he's played so well, Chandler Paul. He'd be so disappointed. He's uh, almost got them to lunch, and then all of a sudden, Warren strikes. So, funny, but someone I like bowling to. Uh, he's probably expecting a few different things, and he's going to try and put his initiative forward straight away. So, I think I'm going to bowl, try and bowl a fast flipper straight at the stumps and uh, see if he's really concentrating. I remember the, um, what I'll try and do to him. He likes to pull and cut. So hopefully I can um, try and get one straight through him, get him LBW or bowled. Oh! Yes, he's bowled in. That was a flipper. Magnificent bowling from War. Stewart, who's been looking to go down the pitch, looking to cut. Hook, line and sinker. Well, he certainly was enjoying the, uh, the battle, Shane Warne, and he's won it with the flipper right on line. And that has really hurried on. Alex Stewart can't believe that he's made the old campaign, the season campaign, the experience. Um, you know, he already got a couple of hundreds in the series. Uh, I think he, I, I'm going to go around the wicket to him, and uh, I've told Alan Ball the night before I reckon I can get him around his legs. So uh, it's a bit of a plan, but not too many plans come off, but uh, this one definitely did. On his bowled him. Bowled him out of the rough. Gooch not even uh, playing a shot. Well, he was sort of attempting to kick the ball away, but that spun a long way. This is an absolutely extraordinary dismissal. I think the next one... Uh, well, 299 test wickets, uh, one more to go to a huge milestone that uh, I never ever thought it would happen. Jacques Callis has came in, who's not a bad player of spin bowling. I'm going to stay around the wicket and um, I'm going to bowl a top spinner because I think he's going uh, to turn. So I'm going to try and bowl one a little bit slower that hopefully they'll uh, get a little edge uh, to Mark Taylor um, or maybe Ian Healy or a bat pad or something like that. But uh, I'm going to bowl an over spinner pretty straight because he's expecting it to be outside leg stump and hopefully... I can squeeze it somewhere between bat and pad. Oh! Got it! Ball ball. 300 test records for Shane Warren. That was a beautiful delivery to get it. That was green ball for 45. Well, that's a fitting way to bring up 300 to uh, disturb the furniture. Getting congratulations from all his teammates. And it's been a magnificent performance here today and uh, over many years. delivery 300 wickets for Warren look at it it's nice beat him in flight got him forward between the gap between bat and pad that's beautiful buying deceived the batsman completely Callis a well made 45 but for Warren 300 magnificent test wickets uh, I've got Alex Stewart out a few times in the past nine times I think so last dismissal would have to be Bazard Ali last ball of the day Sydney cricket ground spinning wicket uh, I've called heels up for a bit of a chat and um Look, we didn't, afterwards we played it up a little bit, but basically the conversation went something like, um, what are we going to do for dinner tonight, mate? What do you feel like, Mexican, Italian, what do you feel like? Um, we're a bit undecided. The reason we sort of held the game up was we're doing overtime and Bazard Ali had held us up all summer. And um, so we thought, oh, well, we're doing overtime. What's the difference for a couple of minutes? He's pretty keen to get off. Uh, we decided to stay around the wicket. Heels decided, oh, we'll just wait over a beer in the dressing rooms. We'll find out what we're going to have. And he said, as he was walking back, he just said, See if he can do something, bowling around his legs will do something, will you? So he walks back to the stumps, and uh, last ball of the day, it turned out to be one of my best. You wouldn't believe it. He's done in between his legs. 
Well, whatever it is they talked about, you can bet your life in future it'll be, why don't you give him the one that'll bowl in between his legs? Mike Gatting knows what it's all about. That's what the bat's for, son. And what a way to finish the day. Well, eight in a row. It'd be nice if we could ever have... It's a wonderful delivery from Shane Warne, clipping the top of that stump, that's absolutely exactly what the Australians needed. He's bowling around the legs once again, and that's uh, Shane Warne's best bowling in Test cricket. That is magnificent because he set Simcox up for this, Warne was trying to bowl him behind his pads, he has done precisely that. Simcox, I promise you can't believe it, Warren tried to bowl him behind his pads and it came off. That is brilliant. You know, usually